All right, guys, what's going on? It's not welcome along to a vlog. I think you guys like these sorts of things. So for the last month, I've been kind of like trying to keep tabs on what I've been doing and try and update to like little update videos throughout the month. Um, hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you do. And I'll definitely try and make more video logs throughout 2019. So without further ado, let's jump in. So it turns out that my wife doesn't understand the concept of a Christmas present. So you remember back in my pre-January Christmas log where I was saying, hey, happy new year, thanks for the support, blah, 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 I'm feeling quite down about myself. I said that uh, I bought my wife a present for Christmas, uh, an Apple Watch, and um, she was adamant that uh, she wanted to buy one. I didn't want one. I now have one. Yes. A couple of days after that, she came through the post and uh, yeah, she said, oh yeah, by the way, I bought you an Apple Watch. So uh, yeah. I now have an Apple Watch as well, kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it'll help me to, um, yeah, my, my weight loss targets and stuff. I don't really know, but a um, hmm. little bit annoyed. A little bit annoyed, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, plus side as well, though. Um, you remember in that video, I also showed you one of my Christmas presents from my friends, the friends that really hate you. Uh, hey, look what we've done. We've done it, boys and girls. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it probably took me about, on and off, it's probably taken me about five days, six days maybe. Um, I was like sitting down and doing it for more than like two hours. Um, and then we had some little help from my uh, four-year-old daughter. She managed to put the last few pieces in. So uh, yes, we've done it. Next thing I want to try and master, let me show you. Let me just walk through my house into the playroom. Maybe you guys haven't seen the playroom before, I don't know. I'm going to rummage in my son's toy box because this is the next thing I want to kind of tackle if I can find it. The Rubik's Cube. Never been able to solve one of these in my life. Um, I have mastered the art of solving one side. I've already learned the algorithms and, and how to always solve one side of the cube. Um, it's just the other five that are going to give me the problem. So, uh, yeah. That's gonna be the next challenge for Mr. Knock. All right guys, so today is my first trip, or well, first work trip of the year. We're going off to London today, and then we're heading off to get to London, go around London, and go out of London, sorry, back into London, hang around maybe with some friends, have a beer, we'll see, and then come back. It's gonna be a long, long day, but um, yeah. I don't mind going out and, and working out on these sort of days. I just don't like the whole dressing up kind of thing, because normally, I just slob around in like jogging pants, jogging bottoms, whatever you want to call them, uh, and t-shirts, so uh, yeah. But middle of winter, but short sleeve shirts always. Don't like covering my arms up. Love the short sleeves. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll um, be able to show you some bits and pieces along the way and uh, show you the sights of my day trip out. Always, always, always start your day right.
Yeah, guys, all right, so um, we are about halfway through the month now, and things are going pretty well. Pretty, pretty good month so far. Uh, we're back on track, we're back on plan, we're eating healthily. I feel like the, the watch I said I didn't want is really helping. As you can see, I'm a tad bit dusty. Um, basically, sanding down wood and stuff for, um, okay. Um, sitting down wood, we're having the plasters in this week, so uh, we're having the ceiling walls and everything plastered. Sitting down the wood, ready to be painted once the plaster's dry. It's never a dull moment in the uh, in the knock house, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, kind of apologies for the like London stuff. I just feel, I, I, I put it in the video, I know I have, but um, I kind of feel like it was all just like riding around on trains all day, which was pretty much the story of the day, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, it's kind of like going to London and then going to a car. I didn't get anything from like getting on the car to getting back onto another train, like some hours later, man, I'm really dusty. Dust mats and stuff. But um, yeah, so hopefully we can stay on track. Things are going really well. Next weekend, though, we're going to be out with the lads, going to have some beers and have a meal out. So, um, yeah, but like next week, uh, Friday or Saturday, I'll know exactly how successful this month has been when I get onto the scales and we find out how much I've lost. So, uh, fingers crossed, the scales will be good. All right, guys. So, one thing I kind of wanted to touch on in this video was there's been a lot of comments and mentions lately about... The community maps um, I've been playing, in particular, that um, some of you guys believe that I probably shouldn't spend the time of day of playing some of the maps because they are quite um, simple, basic, they're just stupid maps. So um, I guess a comment I kind of want to make is because I have like limited recording time, I kind of find it hard to be able to filter maps. So if maps come into the queue and I start to play them, I kind of feel like I want to finish them because it is recording time that I am using to be able to... It's kind of time I've already spent putting in to like start recording the map, regardless of whether it is complete garbage or if it is you know a decent map. So because there's been like a lot of comments about it, I'd appreciate your guys or you guys, your feedback as to how you think I should filter my maps um, better, because it's not always, I, mean, I know sometimes a thumbnail can paint a, a thousand words, but um, yeah, any suggestions on how I could filter my maps better um, in the map request queue, um, I would be gratefully appreciative of any sort of feedback, comments, ideas, kind of um, to, to help me do that. And I'll certainly take them on board because you know, <clears throat> I do kind of want to bring you guys content that you want to enjoy and watch. And if you're not enjoying watching some of these maps, then um, I need to understand how you think I should filter them. So yeah, any ideas, guys, please do leave them down below in the comments. All right, guys, so this year I decided I want to learn a lot of new skills. There's a lot of things I want to do. Um, so first of all, this. Now, for a while, I wanted to like do like a really, what I consider like a, a mini mix kind of set. Um, all of my DJing skills are kind of like long, um, kind of drawn out sets that go on for like an hour, two hours. And the mixes are kind of like at the end, of the, from the beginning of the song to the end of the song kind of thing. Whereas the mini mix kind of format is you get like five, ten minute segment and you try and throw in like, five, six, seven, eight, nine different tracks and like showcase your DJ technique. So um, yeah, i am already started working on it um, with a lot of help from Sadiq. Um, he's an absolute legend. Um, thank you for sparing your time. But yeah, this is kind of like what we're working on right now. So you see, I've got the, the four deck set up going on here. I have some cue points. Fat boy, fat boy, fat boy, fat boy. Fat boy. Fat boy slim is. That's a naughty word that we will not include in this vlog. <laughs> uh, and then on the other deck, we kind of we're starting off with. Ladies and gentlemen, wear sunscreen. 
So we're just kind of like setting up some cue points and stuff at the minute and um, yeah, just working on our intro to see what we can uh, come up with. You'll see that I've, there is a, a third track there going as well, already lined up on the orange deck. But yeah, using kind of like the four deck setup with virtual DJ is, um, is a bit tricky, especially with my controller because I am quite limited actually as to what buttons I have available to me. So I'm also having to try and use my keyboard as well to kind of set things up. So um, yeah, that's, um, that's one thing that I am working on this year. So another thing we're actually working on as well is, if you can see behind the virtual DJ, you may not be able to see. Let me uh, adjust my camera here. Maybe you can see. Maybe you can't, but yeah, we're, we're working on some new programming stuff. So I kind of want to learn Python. I signed up for a code tutorial kind of website and um, was kind of like running through things, but it was very, very basic. I, f I found like for my experience in programming, it wasn't really giving me anything that I didn't already know. Cause I kind of view programming a lot of the time where although each language has its own like quirks and um, particularities, um, as long as you know what you want to do, it's just a matter of translating that into the right language. So, um, yeah, I kind of felt that that wasn't really helping. Um, I've been also, I, I'm really interested in kind of learning ethical hacking techniques. And the tutorial I was following on that was actually uh, the module at the start was learning Python. So I kind of want to learn Python a bit more. And then obviously I want to kind of see if I can't, um, you know, become a bit of an ethical hacker and, and learn some new skills. Um, I think it's quite an interesting topic um, for security and bits and pieces. So yeah, that is another thing that I am uh, working on at the moment. So the final thing as well that we're kind of, I want to kind of try and develop on and, and learn a bit more about this year is Unity. And I've already like done a little tutorial and I've got like this really basic kind of platforming game going on, which you've, um, which I did put out on my Discord. Well, literally, you can like jump around, double jump, and bits and pieces. But the the it's very basic. The physics kind of needs some work. You can wall jump and stuff, and and do other bits and pieces, which you're probably not meant to do. Um, but yeah, the um, so I kind of want to like develop that a little bit more. And probably nothing serious, but um, even if I can like just create something really simple and basic in Unity, um, that'd be pretty awesome. So um, yeah. A lot of new things I want to kind of pick up on and try and develop and learn this year. So it um, should be an interesting year. Because on top of that as well, I'm still working on my hammer map. Yes. Um, so I got quite far with it. And then I kind of made a mistake with some of like the walls and the textures and things. And then everything started to kind of like fall apart a little bit. So yeah, I did start again. We are in on the third iteration now of the same map. And... Um, at the minute I've kind of got the basic um, geometry sorted. I've got an observation room. I've done a little bit of a BTS area that you can see through the panels uh, down one of the sections. And um, one of the actual portable panels comes out on a piston slightly, so it doesn't move. You can't get into it, but you can actually see into it like the BTS with some pipes and a fuse box and things. So I kind of just want to slowly progress with that, even if I'm doing just like five, 10, 15 minutes a day. Um, it kind of keeps it fresh in the mind and um, who knows, maybe this would be the year that I finally release that um, long awaited hammer map, but uh, we'll see. All right guys, so we have made it to the end of the month and um, yeah, the results are in, so to speak. So yeah, I said like earlier on in the um, video that we was kind of back on it. We were you know, trying to get ourselves in a better place, back on the diet, etc., etc. So. Um, yeah, been on the scales this morning and it's pretty good news. So in the 29 days I've been doing this, I've actually lost 13.75 pounds, which is like quarter of a pound under a stone. I think that's like 6.3 something kilograms, maybe a bit more. I'll put some graphic on screen or something. But yeah, really happy with the way I have um, tackled this month. It's been really good. Um, feel a lot better. Like I said earlier on, my watch, I feel... It's helped me a lot more. It's helped me get in um, a lot um, better um, from a kind of like movement point of view because it kind of like reminds you to like stand up and stuff. So um, 
yeah, my daily calorie goal kind of encourages me just to, even if it's like running around the house, like running on the spot, doing jumping jacks, whatever it is, I'm just like trying to be more active. Um, I'm definitely in a better place for it. So that means tonight, I get to enjoy a few of these, going out for a meal with um, some of my buddies. I was pretty much gonna bring the vlog to a close this month, guys. Um, like I said, I really hope uh, you've enjoyed, again, another insight into life for Knock. Um, I do believe you guys do enjoy these videos, videos so um, make sure you spam the comments down below to make sure um, you want to see more of these, and I will try my hardest to bring you more of these through the year, maybe not every month. I don't know if that's um, maybe too much uh, of an ask, but um, yeah, a vlog every now and again. Um, maybe even you know do some question answers in the vlogs and stuff, maybe to get you guys a bit more involved. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for your support. I really appreciate it, and um, yeah, we're off to a good start in 2019. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.